On the service side is where exactly in the exact same product here in, in field point, I can go in and set up things like maintenance contracts with any of my, my customers. So in this case, I've got more of an HVAC and you know, building controls example, where I can create things like recurring invoicing. If I had a, a maintenance contract that we're billing on some sort of recurring basis, and I wanna create you know, contracts that might renew themselves or perhaps they don't renew and I wanna make sure that we you know, escalate these to, to account managers and sales reps for renewal. Uh, again, this application does a real nice job of those, uh, those kinds of things. And then we have, of course, the line items that really make up the meat of this module, right? So for any organization out there that has not just a maintenance plan where we're setting up um, you know, plan maintenance or, or preventive maintenance, this also acts as a great tool just to govern the relationship that you have with your customer, right? So some organizations might actually create this contract whereby maybe we don't even bill at that contract level, but it does give you the flexibility to put in things like a service entitlement. Maybe this customer is willing to pay a little bit more money in exchange for a, an SLA or a service level agreement, whereby now I'm essentially providing a guaranteed response time and resolution to some issues, right? Again, not for every business, but for some, this has been certainly an upselling opportunity, right? So this becomes a lot more than just preventive maintenance. It's also a place that can house things like service entitlements, inclusions, exclusions, additional warranties, and other things that many, you know, for example, contractors are looking for to increase their bottom line. So coming back then to this header of our contract, of course, we have things like our what we call the PM manager or preventive maintenance manager. This is again, just a simplified tool where apparently it's just uh, you know master controllers we're looking at here. But in here is where I can also create a full maintenance plan for all the particular assets that might be at a particular facility, right? So this is just yet an automated way of creating recurring services as they're becoming due. And these will automatically create those work orders for you to ensure that anything that might be planned maintenance is done timely and is, uh, and is not forgotten. 